Hey guys, this is Ugger Bomberito. I'm a Rollerfly rep. I uh, just want to do a quick tutorial today on how to get your pads on, or how to get your Rollerfly on your pads. Um, big question for me that I'm answering today is the use in ties and how quickly it is compared to the Velcro. So we're going to run through it, see how fast I can get them on and take them off, do a full time, and uh, show you guys that. So if you guys have any questions though, just let me know. I'd be happy to answer all of them. So I'll talk to you guys. Yep. And now it's recording. Okay, so my roller fly set's already on. What I use is two white Bauer laces. Um, the biggest thing about putting these on first is you always want to strap on your pad and have your pad on your leg and tighten your straps as much as you, as tight as you normally wear them. So I wear it five notches out. So I'll have it here to actually simulate the tension that you're going to have in the strap because you don't want to tie these too tight just so it's flush, flush to the pad. Um, so always make sure you do that first, don't just tie them onto the buckles. Uh, like I said, you can break and snap these uh, the security clips. So now that that's all settled, your straps are on. Um, I use one Velcro piece here. I don't do anything in the front. This has broken off. This is an older model of roller fly. But I don't use a strap here anyways. I just use two Velcro around the knee. It secures it really well for the way my knee uh, landing gear is. But let's get started. I'm going to time this run. We'll see how long it takes me to take this off. And uh, go from there. Start. Uh, one of my big stories I like to always tell people about roller fly and how easy it is to get on and off. I finished hockey practice at Michigan State's campus at 11 o'clock. And I had an 11.30 beer league game at a rink right down the road, which might have been a five-minute drive. So I changed, drove, there's 15 minutes, got there at about 11.15, and uh, went to change for my 11.30. By the time I got in the locker room and took these off, I was ready to go in on the ice in, you know, 10 minutes. So that took me 40 seconds to get those off with the exception of me securing my uh, landing gear back onto my pad. But yeah, that's 40 seconds. Uh, we're looking at, you know, over a little over a minute to get both leg pads done and you're back on the ice or doing whatever other, you know, sport you're using for your goalie pads. Um, so we'll do a test run. We'll do a run of me putting them on, see how long that takes. How did it? Okay, so now we're going to put the roller fly back on my pads. We're going to time it. And we're starting now. Um, like I said, was saying before, the biggest perk about roller fly is I can do I can use one set of gear for ice and roller hockey. I used to have two. I recently sold my second set, and between using it through both types of hockey, my pads still have not taken as much wear as they would when I'm just playing roller hockey. So I won't have to buy new pads every year either because the wear on these is really easy with the roller fly. There's no little to no wear to your pad. Um, you're still going to get some friction spots that are going to wear away the leather, but that's going to happen. Um, but I only need one set and this set of roller fly will even last me next year. So these pads are good, good to go. Um, so you're cutting costs, your pads won't get ruined playing roller, and you'll get all the advantage of being able to slide. I've made saves with roller fly that I would in ice, but I could never imagine being able to do what I do without this stuff. And this is me taking my time, no rush. Just getting ready for a game. Always want to make sure your roller fly is flush to the edge and pull the straps back in. My pads are set. Velcro is good to go. Landing gear is good. And we're at a minute and 45. So double that. We're looking right around, right over three minutes. Um, really not that big of a deal. 
you know, when you, if you're running in between ice and roller. Uh, but one thing I want to note here too is uh, how I always try to bring with these ties, the purpose of the ties is to bring my roller fly as close to the edge, if not overhang it a little bit. That way you will always slide on the roller fly because if it's farther back like this and I go to push, this leather is going to hit, cause friction, and I'm going to stop. I won't move. So I always want to make sure my plates are, I prefer them to hang over. But if you guys don't have that convenience, always make sure they're flush to the edge. Uh, that's pretty much it for now. And then if you guys have any questions, just let me know. Contact me, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Thanks.